Welcome to the Statistic in ED YouTube channel. Have you ever wondered about the dot 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 notation in R functions? If you have, let's find out more about it. If you haven't and you're into R programming and want to write your own functions, this can still be useful to know. So let's dive right into it. We'll see how the dot 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 can work a bit like magic and also how it can be dangerous. So where do we stumble across the dot 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 notation in R functions? An example is the mean function. So let's check out the help file, the documentation for the mean function. And we see that the mean function makes use of these three dots. Um, mean is a so-called generic function. That means there are different kinds of mean functions for different types of objects. For example, there's a dedicated mean function, mean function for date objects. So the generic function checks which object it is passed and then moves on to the dedicated mean function depending on the object type. And here the three dots really make sense. Let's look a bit more at the documentation and we see where the arguments are described for the dot dot dot, the description says further arguments pass to or from other methods. But we don't want to be too theoretical. We'll do our own example and see how the dot 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 notation can be useful. So a simple use case, we write a simple function, I call it min max, and it just calculates the minimum and the maximum, not very surprisingly. Um, note that I could do it in a one-liner in the function body, but for the sake of clarity, I first calculate the minimum and assign it to an object and the maximum, and then I concatenate these two calculations together to form the result vector, and I label this with capital letters min and max. So I can use that on the vector, um, a sequence from 1 to 10, and the result I get back should not be surprising. So far, so good, but what if we have missing values? Something that we often encounter in data analysis. So let's see what happens then. I pass a vector that contains a missing value, and R has the strict default of returning NA as soon as at least one NA element is um, in our vector. So can I change this default behavior? Let's try out the na.rm parameter in our min max function and we see it does not work. We get an error message, um, unused argument. So the min max function as it is now in the simple version does not provide the user uh, with an option to specify how missing values shall be treated. Um, we can only use it with the default option of not removing missing values, so we get NAs back as soon we pass it at least one NA element. So in order to give the user more flexibility in our function, we need to extend it. So the first idea may be to explicitly write out this NA.RM parameter. I specify that as a second argument to my function, and I have to um, also pass this argument to the min and max function so that these two functions um, get the information that the end user passes to the min max function. So I can try that out. If I don't specify the na.rm parameter, um, note that in the function definition I provided a default, then when I use the function, I get na's back, but I can override the default and sp explicitly specify an a.rm equals true, and then I get a valid result back. So far, so good, but do we like this coding style? We could say that this is a violation of the so-called dry principle. Dry, not as in the opposite of wet, but in don't repeat yourself. So we have some redundancy in our code. We have to repeat this in a.rm equals in a.rm for each calculation we do inside our function body to pass on this argument. Just think of um, a use case where we maybe not have only two calculations here, but maybe 10 or more. We would have to repeat this in a.rm every time for each type of calculation that we perform in our function body. So this is not very convenient and it would be good to have a shortcut. And obviously this shortcut is the dot 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 notation, so I can use that to pass on additional arguments to the functions that I use in my function body. So I make the dot 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 an argument to my min max function and I pass the three dots to the min and the max function. So this is much shorter coding than 
on the previous slide and I can use it the same way as before if I don't provide any arguments and pass on a vector that contains an NA value I still get two NAs back but it, I can override the default behavior specifying an a dot or n equals true and then I get a valid result back again like before but now the function body is shorter more concise so this is a bit like magic we can teleport function arguments um, using the dot 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 notation so this is a great way um, of shortening our function and still make it flexible but I said we will also talk about a danger so what could go wrong what could be a downside of this approach unfortunately we live in this world of compromises where benefits often come with downsides so what could be a downside let's try out this function with the three dot notation as before the function is unchanged but now I apply this function and I make a typo here in my function argument I specify na.mr instead of na.rm equals true and this is ignored silently ignored we could say so I get two NAs back which is not my desired result I wanted to remove the missing values this is not done the argument is ignored and I don't get an error or a warning um, of course we, we could discuss this um, people may think that not getting errors or warnings is nice they don't want code to be interrupted but um, I hope we can agree on this idea that in many cases in data analysis an early error or warning is much more useful than get silently getting wrong or unexpected or inappropriate results back so let's compare this to the previous version of our function not using the three dots but the explicit na.rm argument um, so the, we saw this version before and I use it the same way as above mistyping the function argument na.rm mr instead of na.rm and in this case I get an error message back unused argument so this prevents me from getting unexpected undesired results so I'd argue that this second behavior is more useful in data analysis to be made aware of typos so this is unfortunately a downside of the dot 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 notation um, that's basically it we saw how to apply the dot 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 notation how useful it can be I just want to extend a tiny little bit and um, do more calculations in our function so here I call the function my stats because I don't only calculate minimum and maximum but also the mean and the standard deviation and again I use it with a typo in the na.rm argument using the three dots I still get an error message back now even though I used the three dots we could say um, and now we could think about the error message let's say we are the end users maybe we didn't write the mystats functions we just want to apply it what do you think of this error message it says error in SD so as an end user I didn't use the SD function I used the mystats function and SD is only used internally so we could say the error message is not very convenient for the end user the my stats function should handle the error and not the SD function but why does this error come about in the first place we use the three dots and we saw previously that um, using the three dots notation we don't get error messages because typos don't matter so let's find out how this comes about well let's check out the documentation for the SD function and we see that SD as opposed to the other functions we used here does not have the three dots so this is an inconsistency in base R we could say um, or maybe it's just not necessary to allow for any additional arguments to the SD function anyway there are no three dots here so the SD function um, complains because the only two parameters that are allowed are x and na.rm well that was it for today I hope you found this useful um, all the best for your own data analysis for your own functions that you write um, I hope you liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already check out my other videos see you next time ciao